Now we will be doing practical number one, in which the aim of the experiment is to identify the chloride, bromide, and iodide ions from the given salt. And the apparatus which we will be using is test tubes, stand of test tube. Chemical which will be using is silver nitrate solution of potassium chloride, solution of potassium bromide and potassium iodide. You see potassium chloride contain chloride ion, potassium bromide contain bromide ion, potassium iodide contain iodide ion. And we need to detect them. So that solutions will be making in test tube A. In test tube A we will have potassium chloride. In test tube B we will have potassium bromide and in test tube C we will have potassium iodide. Iodide it is. Iodide. And these are test tubes as per your textbook, test tube, test practical notebook. Now we have taken the, I'll read out the procedure, only four steps are there. We have taken three test tubes as A, B, C we have labeled them. Uh, now we have to take 5 ml of solution of chloride, potassium chloride, potassium uh, iodide, potassium bromide in B and potassium iodide in C. Potassium chloride in A, there is a correction, and potassium bromide in B and potassium iodide in C. We have to add 5 ml of silver nitrate solution and then we have to write down the observation as per the observation table, whatever we will observe. So, see children here, potassium chloride solution which is A. I can label it as A. And this is potassium bromide solution, labeling as B. And this is potassium iodide solution, labeling as C and we have silver nitrate solution. Now I will be taking it in test tube. Take this solution in the test tube. Potassium chloride. Yes. Now take some drops. It is mentioned to take 5 ml but we will be taking little lesser. It is not needed so much to take. And it gives us the test. See we got white PPT. Very clearly we can see white PPT. Children we have got white PPT. See the solution was of KCL. In this I added AgNO3 silver bromide and it gave me KNO3 plus AgCl PPT which is white in color. White PPT is seen by potassium chloride. So this is a test for chloride radical. Now in the second test tube, I will be taking, take the solution of potassium bromide. This is potassium bromide children, which is solution B. And this, we will be adding silver nitrate. Yes. We can see the light yellow PPT. See if you will compare. This is very white and this is a little bit light in color, which is light yellow. See which one we can clearly see. It is light yellow. Light yellow and this is white with the KCL, we got here the KBR, light yellow PPT. So, the solution is KBR, 
plus AgNO3, we will be getting KNO3 plus AgBr. And AbGBr is a PPT which is a light yellow PPT. Light yellow PPT. Now in this third test tube, test tube C we can label it. We will take potassium iodide solution. Yes. And pour silver nitrate. Children you can see bright yellow PPT. We got bright yellow PPT. So with potassium iodide, when I added AgNO3, we got KNO3 plus AgI, which is a bright yellow PPT. Now after this we will be noting down the observation table. Children I have already discussed in test tube A means solution A. KCl plus silver nitrate gave you KNO3 plus AgCl which is white PPT. See white PPT. So it is a chloride ion test. Then in second KBr plus AgNO3 gave KNO3 AgBr which is light yellow PPT. Light yellow bromide test. Bromide radical is detected. When potassium iodide and AgNO3 was mixed, we got KNO3 and AgI which is a bright yellow PPT which is a iodide radical ion found here we have got iodide radical here we have got bromide ion and here we have got chloride ion now we will go for the inference children we got ions were precipitated in all three reaction in the experiment element in the halogen family belong to 17th group in the periodic table and they show similarity in their property all the three test tube Test tube is all the three solutions of A, B and C show double displacement reaction. Potassium nitrate is the similar product form in all the above three reactions. See, here also KNO3 we got, here also KNO3, here also we got KNO3. It's a double displacement. Why double displacement? Chloride moved with silver and nitrate moved with potassium. So double displacement. Similarly here, Br bonded with silver and form AgBr and NO3 moved to potassium form KNO3. Therefore double displacement. Similarly, iodide moved with silver and form AgI and NO3 moved with potassium and form KNO3. So double displacement. So in all three reactions we saw KNO3 was commonly formed and there was double displacement. So, shall we read the first fill in the blank? Valency of element in halogen group is 1. 1. See, in halogen there are 7 electrons in the outermost shell. So, it requires only 1 electron for the octet to complete. Second, the, the most reactive element in halogen group is fluorine. Fluorine. Fluorine is the most reactive element. The halogen which is liquid at room temperature is bromine. bromine. The metallic character of element increases in group from top to bottom. As you move from top to bottom, the metallic character increases. Valency of element increases in beginning and then decreases in a period from left to right. Yes. Now we will discuss the exercise question. Also the model periodic table and explain the gradation in reactivity of halogen family. Yeah. 
all the halogens have only one less electron in their outermost shell. What do you mean by only one less electron? One less means there are seven electrons in the outermost shell. And there is one less electron to complete the octet. In outermost shell, there are seven electrons. Suppose say chlorine, first shell, second shell, and this is the third shell. This is the nucleus. So first shell there are two electrons, second there are eight, and the last there are seven, five, six, seven. So one less to complete the octet. And therefore we write the point, all halogens have one less electron in the outermost shell. All have the general formula X2. X is for X is for halogen element. So X2, they are in the molecular form. A gradation is observed in the physical state down the group. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is liquid, while iodine is solid, and one shell increases from top to bottom so that attraction between the nucleus and the outermost shell decreases. Next question is What are the similarities in properties of element in halogen family? Halogen family belong to group 17. It has 7 electrons in the outermost shell. Their valency is 1 because they require 1 electron to complete the octet. Therefore they take 1 electron to complete the octet state and they are non-metals. Next question. Why does inert gases place in zero group? Zero group elements are that element which has 8 electron in the outermost shell. Having 8 electron in the outermost shell is a stable state. It is called as octet state. They do not need to give any electron or take any electron. Therefore, their valency is zero. Hence, inert gases are placed in zero group. We are done with the experiment, children. I hope whenever you are referring this video, you want to learn anything, you can pause the video and you can understand the concept and write it down. Thank you, children.